the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. protected other people too, but he couldn't save everyone. He could never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Keep that hair short. Just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. He made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done, I still decided we were better together, for AJ's sake, but like everything else, it wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. 
I'm too big for it. Oh, I've always called you goofball. It's time for you to stop. It's Alvin Jr. AJ still work? AJ still works. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream. Vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you wanna eat me. Is that true? Do you wanna eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem, I can't eat a toy. Oh man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. Hmm, <laughs> sassy. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. If we wanted to hurt you, we would have by now. Considering the circumstances, I'll let this little standoff slide. You only get one strike. Now, you're gonna behave so I can take you to see your boy? Because if you really want to fight... Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know where I was or who you were. I just want to see the boy I was with. <laughs> you could have just asked. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. We had to take precautions, you know, just in case. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. I'm Marlin, that's Tennessee, but uh, call him Ten for short. He's one bit taking care of you. He uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Come on, let's go see your boy. Thank you.
You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah. We've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. Sure. I do what I can to get by. No matter what. Hey, don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. The walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well... I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but... We do alright for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. Good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a Troubled. You got me and AJ all wrong, Marlin. Couple of pure angels. <laughs> Jury's still out on you, but an angel your boy is decidedly not. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie! Where's your damn weapon?
um, double um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? He's earned my trust with it. He's a tot. Yeah, a tot who can shoot. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling, Clementine. You, my lost and gone forever. Ah, oh, I love that song. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Like she was and like a fairy. And her shoes were number nine. Hairy boxes without topses. Sandals were for Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Got a bit of a situation out there. <clears throat> to ask, you just coming to it all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school.
hey, hey. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. We had to go out there. How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B-minus, then. Now, Clem here, that was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> Little dude said fuck. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happens. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ah, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing?
how to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way, too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. I saw this guy get his face beaten in with a crowbar. Badly. There wasn't even any skin left. Ouch. Hmm. He deserved it. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That... sounds like a rough day. Yeah. Worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. That's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. You'll understand if I don't tell you anything. Wasn't really a question. More like confirmation. You 
You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking. Maybe more? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? It's gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! <laughs> 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 going on here she took them outside the safe zone they saw someone you know what that means enough just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food it's happened before you are overreacting you can't be serious come on let's go somewhere and talk about this If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but shit. God, nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Glenn. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. 
I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie would be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie, the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Let her speak, asshole. <laughs> Excuse me? I want to hear what she has to say. How do you know that guy? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed of what- Shut up! Ah! You done? I'm so sorry. So, so, so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Hell! Did you say that? I told you not to say it. How? 
Stay with her. There's, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? Force it in there and lift up the latch. Can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Where's Clementine? AJ, put the gun down. Get this fucking cycle away from me. Where is she? She's in the basement. She murdered Brody! What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clap. What did you do? We saved their lives! But anyone else would have kept walking! Fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled in, murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck, ah, Marlin! Jesus Christ! Screw you, Marlin! Insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? It's a shame, I don't believe in those. The first thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? For me! You friend! She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. Lewis, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh, on your own. I'm sorry. You let him shoot me. Really? Just so you don't have to get involved. I thought you were more than that. Shit. Marlin, come on, man. 
Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! Something like that. I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them. States some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. Hesitate. 